Hey, Brendan. So this is the Brendan Holland Future of Burko's uh, fiance questionnaire game. It's supposed to be fun. Can't wait. Okay. <clears throat> I think it might have even been our first date. Okay. Um, we went to a bar called The District down in Waldo, and it was in the parking lot. So I'm very much like, um, you know, let's just go to a local bar, or I never really branched out with food or mm -hmm. kind of dive bars or anything until I met Holland. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I kind of put it back on her and I was like, hey, why don't you pick the place that we go? So she found this place that she had always wanted to go to. And of course they had gluten-free and dairy-free food. Mm -hmm. So um, we went there and had some fun cocktails and um, appetizers as are always a must. Mm -hmm. and, and so we went to district and then we also had our first kiss. Tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Okay, who I was? Feel like tacos is probably the answer to every one of these questions. Really? All the tacos. All, all you tacos. know what the um, Bachelorette theme is? I do not. Okay, well, she'll know by now, so it's a Mexican fiesta. Oh, surprise. <laughs> Perfect, right? Yeah, all the, you can have a bunch of tacos down there too. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. See, that's tough because she just got her master's, so she kind of went to school twice. I would probably say that she was the better student. I think I took some more difficult courses, mm -hmm. but overall, I would say she was probably the better student. I said it first. I'll, be, I'll admit it. Okay. Uh, and she reminds me of that, too. So I said it first. I think after one of my buddy's weddings uh, in the hotel room, um, I think the real question is who said it first sober? That I don't know, but I know that I, for, I said it first. Her eyes. Her eyes. <laughs> Probably something she doesn't want me to say, and um, she should know what I'm talking about. It happened on a uh, Halloween. You were there. Um, I, I think you were there at one of her friends' house banana, on Halloween. The banana. And she uh, definitely knows what I'm talking about. I mean, we've been at this for five years. There's been a ton of dates. Uh, our favorite trip, I would want to say, was maybe when we went to Scottsdale. Um, and did some hiking and went to some fun places for food and um, we had these amazing tacos it was like at this little bus on the side of the road as soon as we got out of the airport. Um, our favorite date or like date night I would say is probably like cooking here and then going down to the little den man cave area and just like vegging out for like Aww. four hours watching shows but um probably favorite trip would probably be scottsdale or of course going to the beach in florida I'm not a big egg person. Oh, you don't eat eggs, okay. <laughs> but, but the eggs that I like are the ones that Holland makes, and she seasons them really well, and basically makes them like scrambled, but a little charred, is, is to go into a taco. I'm hoping she's thinking student loan debt. She would either, she would probably give some away to charity, to a, some nonprofit, Mm -hmm. Or I think she would probably uh, go on a trip for a long, long time. Because yeah. money is not a big deal to all. I would say she probably has too much clothes. 
but she doesn't like splurge on clothes, she just never gets rid of clothes. Yes, it was actually, shoot, um, <laughs> it was a K-State football game. It's also, this, I'm screwed now, but it's also <laughs> Dana's, Dana's birthday. Oh, okay. It's September. There's literally a dish in the bathroom over there that you guys got her with it. Uh, on it. Okay, we'll think about it. it and we'll get back to that. How about that? It's September. 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 I would say two. Two. Probably a book. Tizzy. Yeah, it's Tizzy. And a cooler full of Corona Light. Yes. My OCD cleaning and um, just being organized and probably wiping the counters down too often. I take like 30 minutes to clean the kitchen. Well, probably more like an hour every night. So, so probably my, cl my cleanliness by far. Okay. Her not being clean and organized. <laughs> and opposites. Yes. We are completely opposite on that. That's tough. She is probably the most kind-hearted person that I know. I mean, she for sure. is just amazing. She's always looking out for other people, and um, she just really cares about other people. I think she appreciates that I try to take care of her the best that I can. You definitely do. Whether that's cooking dinner, cleaning up, uh, you know, financially, if I ever need to, just always kind of keeping my eye on taking care of her. Uh, that and I'm like really funny. People don't know, but I'm hilarious. Like, yeah, I'm super funny. You are funny. It really depends on her mood. What her favorite movie the question okay. is? Maybe her favorite movie of all time, I would say, is probably The Notebook. Okay, but it's a good one. It also depends on what mood she's in. Like. Mm -hmm. She's also mentioned that her favorite movie is Fight Club. You know, like... Have you guys... Anything that she hates? I already got rid of one. It was, like, a year ago. I had these really bad plaid shorts mm -hmm. that I disposed of. Were they, like, your college colors or something? No, they were just, like, bad. They were really ugly. Oh, Do you think they were good? I thought they were fine. Yeah. I mean, they give you a hard time. Yeah. But for Christmas, she bought me some new sweats, like mm -hmm. nice sweats. So I think that was kind of a hint like, hey, you need to get rid of your high school sweatshirt that you still wear around the house. Yeah. But working from home every day, this is what you get. I don't, I haven't put on like a suit since February of last year. So, oh gosh, yeah. Um, That'd be nice. She would probably tell me to get rid of some of my sweats. Okay. I don't know. We, we both love the beach. We definitely both want to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, I know we've talked about this. I just can't think of where. But I also know that she would want to go back to Thailand. And she would want to go to Europe. But probably anywhere with the beach will do us just fine. I think it all goes back to the movie uh, Summer Catch with Jessica Biel. Okay. Big wow, fan. Way back. Oh, yeah. Okay, but Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel, and I mean, she's also married to JT, who's like probably the coolest guy out there. You know, I don't know if there was a moment. I think there was, I think it started clicking when I started uh, kind of growing in my career and all, every time I had, you know, uh, signed contracts with somebody or had a sale or like the, she was the first person I wanted to tell. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, you know, I'm, it, you know, it kind of starts with like, you know, wanting to share your success with your parents mm -hmm. and now, and then it like starts to shift to like your partner. partner. So, as soon as that, yeah, so as soon as it started to shift, like I realized that you know, she was now that person that I wanted to share all my success with. So, um, 
that's it wasn't like a defining moment I would say mm -hmm. but knowing that I love her and said I love you and then having that too I was just kind of like you know this is gonna, definitely going to be my life partner I know there was something there with like our first kiss there was kind of just like something oh, I love that. about her that yeah. I was just like wow Me this too is this has been special yeah this is something this is you must uh, be a good kisser wink wink yeah 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 <laughs> so um I wouldn't say there was like a certain time yeah but it just pretty much from the beginning yeah yeah there was something there I can actually remember the what she was wearing the first day I saw her yeah. and she still has it today that's probably one of those things that can probably be retired <laughs> it's like the t black t-shirt dress thing her hair was up in a, in a in a bun yeah and she was just strutting her stuff around the first day I saw her in the office we're no doubt official um, but this kind of solidifies it it makes it marks it you know mm -hmm. this is the person the rest of my life yeah. through thick and thin mm -hmm. bad good um, like you're stuck with me. I love that. I also hate the word fiance. Yeah. I think it's just okay. such a whatever. I like. I'm looking forward to calling her my wife. Your wife. So do you call her fiance? But you just don't like. Uh, but like you not anymore. Her? Not anymore. I just say wife. Oh really? I mean, yeah. It's just you know. I think you guys are already married. Yeah. So I've, I've just, she's, I've just started calling her my wife. So. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Where was the tough questions? What kind of questions? What kind of, is there a question you no, want to no, answer? No, 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 That was not, <laughs> that was not like laid it on. It was supposed to be fun. It was fun. It was fun. Good. And wasn't it fun reminiscing on everything? Yeah. 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 I mean, she's at work right now and it's, it's so hard to like schedule something like this mm -hmm. because it's like, her schedule's all over the place, and this is like 30 minutes. I'm, all, I'm not actually supposed to go to Costco right now with her brother, so okay. this was great, and I'm glad we got to do it. Um, Paul, and I hope you have a fantastic time on the bachelorette party. Um, I love you, and I will see you when you get back. Hey, Halls. Happy bachelorette. <laughs> I hope you are having the tea of your L in Key West. I'm so sad that I can't be there. I have all of the FOMO, trust and believe. Um, I really wish I could have made it, but as a trade-off, I will be living in Kansas City in just a few short weeks, so I'm stoked about that. Um, but yes, happy Bachelorette. I hope you guys are having the most fun time. Um, I love you so much. I'm so grateful to you for kind of taking me in as this kind of weird extension of Elisa's family and you know kind of looking at me as a sister from another mister too. Um, I consider you just one of my closest friends and I'm so grateful to you and to your whole family for that matter for totally taking me in and and bringing me in as, as a part of your lives and I'm so excited to watch you get married. I know that we have to wait until August now, which is a bummer, but it's going to be so amazing and you're so deserving of everything that you have. You're so deserving of this lifetime of happiness that I know is ahead of you. Um, so I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy for you. And I hope that you get all the coolest stuff and some sexy PJs and some lingerie and some cool stuff for your honeymoon. Um, I hope you have a drink for me, have a few drinks for me, um, and I just hope that you're having so much fun. Um, I love you so much. I miss you. I love you. I love you. Have so much fun. Hi, Hall. Just wanted to pop in and tell you that I hope you girls have so much fun on your bachelorette party and that I hope that it's just full of love and laughter and celebration because you deserve all those wonderful things um so i love you guys have so much fun and call me if you need some bail money Woo hello happy bachelorette party weekend i hope you have the best time this weekend take all the shots of tequila drink tons of corona and i hope you know how much i love you and wish i could be there 
y'all. I hope you are having just the absolute best time ever this week. I am so, so sorry that I can't be there. I want more than anything to be there with you and drinking and cheersing. I hope you guys have an amazing trip. Drink a lot. Drink like double for me. I will be drinking for you. I love you. I miss you. Have the best time ever. Can't wait to celebrate you here soon. Love you all. Hi, Hall. Happy Bachelorette weekend. I am so jealous I'm not able to join you this weekend and also never would have thought in a million years that I would miss your bachelorette party. I can't wait to celebrate with you closer to your now summer wedding, which is wild to think that it's really not that far away either. So enjoy the time in Florida and enjoy visiting with your Florida friends and your mom and everyone else that's there this weekend. Um, think of me because I'll be, you know, just chilling at this place all week. Love you. Have fun. Bye, Holland. We hope you're having so much fun on your bachelorette weekend. And we are so excited for your wedding. August can't get here soon enough. Hello, Holland and family and bachelorette crew. What's up? I'm Caroline. I'm representing me and future mother-in-law, Jennifer Burko. We just wanted to say that we're really sad that we cannot be there. I know you're having a blast. Yeah, I know you're probably just painting the town. Um, cannot wait till February to make it real, real. Um, hope you're having fun and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.